Hey guys, you're watching Tuck TV and welcome back to another episode of the Project Modcaster. So last week, of course, we took you through a stock test uh, comparing our Modcaster, which was in uh, stock uh, configuration against a Fender Affinity series track. That's right, which is also in uh, stock. There's a link to that video. You can check it out if you haven't seen it yet. This week, we would like to take you through all the changes that we have planned for our Modcaster. Our kind of to make it much more better than the Affinity CD. That's right. These these uh, mods that we're doing are both uh, from a functional aspect as well as an aesthetic cosmetic aspect. It's a combination of it. So check it out. So as part of the mod cast project, uh, this is what we have. We of course have the guitar. Uh, this is what we had picked up earlier, completely stock at the moment. And apart from this, what you see over here is all the changes that it is going to be going through. We're going to have changes both which are functional and a lot of changes with our cosmetic as well. Starting off, the biggest change that is going to take place is the pickups. These are original Fender Tex-Mex pickups that we went ahead and imported from the United States. Locking tuners. This of course is not of any specific brand, but uh, the key benefit of having a locking tuner is that it will help your guitar stay in tune. Basically, uh, we're going to be using a relatively light gauge of strings on this guitar and we want to ensure that it's able to hold the tune and that's what a locking tuner is going to do for us. Next we have of course a small change that we're going to be doing to this little strap plug over here. So the current issue we're facing here is that uh, the straps keep coming off with this uh, current strap plug or strap holder whatever you want to call it. So that's what we're going to be changing. From a pure electronic standpoint of a guitar, the Stratocasters normally come with a single volume double tone configuration. What we are going to do is actually introduce just a single volume, single tone configuration. We're not going to use just a single tone. We're going to have two capacitors which are going to be used in the push-pull ports. Another change from your classic Stratocaster move is changing your curled iron bridge saddles to your normal flattel saddles. We're also introducing a kill switch. So the main reason of why we want to do is because generally when we play, we sort of have an open hand style of playing with a pick. Um, and at least with me, generally when I'm playing, what happens is my little finger tends to touch the volume button and as a result of it, it messes with the volume. So in place of that, we'll have this little button which you know you can sort of put on and off and it doesn't interfere with our playing style. Coming to the aesthetic side of things, we are going to be changing the knobs on the guitar, uh, going with a more black colored aspect here. So you can see that the knobs are black in color. We're also going to be changing the uh, pickup covers uh, to a more black aesthetic over here. No changes to the tremolo arm but apart from that what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing the pick guard so we have this almost mirror chrome uh, configuration that we're going to be sticking on here. This of course is cosmetic it's not mandatory for anyone to do but you know since it is a mod project we thought what the hell why not. And of course finally no guitar is complete without a good set of strings. And we wanted to ensure that we get a bright set on it. So we are going to be using the, the Dario Nickel Wounds. These are a 9 gauge going all the way to 42. So enough talk. Let's put all this together and see what it sounds like. Before going into the whole tonal aspects of what any of these modifications can give us, we wanted to focus on the financial aspect of it. Right? Because this is going to be something which is going to affect a lot of players. That's true. And also, you know, when you are doing modifications to a guitar, um, there is a lot of homework that goes into it and obviously a lot of spending that goes into it. Uh, so we have done a comparison since we have done most of our comparisons to the Fender Squire Affinity series. We're going to keep that as you know you can say as the bar the, yeah. and uh, all the comparison is going to be happening in accordance to it. So starting off of course um, on the left the Squire is going to be in stock configuration. We're not doing anything uh, specific with that Fender because we're ideally, ideally trying to build something up. Uh, to its level. The only change which is going to happen to the Fender is going to be the thing that we're going to give it new strings just That's so right. that it stays in par with the new strings what we'll be putting on the Modcaster. That is true. In fact, the reason you see the strings separately down there is because it's going to be done for both guitars because whether you buy a Fender or you buy a local make or whatever you buy, you eventually do have to change the strings. So we've kept that separate. And uh, on the right, of course, you can see that uh, we have the uh, Tex-Mex Staggered Pole single coil pickups. These are really good pickups, we, you know, and we look forward to seeing what they're going to sound like. The price, of course, you will see over there is inclusive of the uh, import duties because we had to 
um, ship this all the way from the United States. From a functional aspect, if I have to compare the Modcaster versus the Affinity Stratocaster, you can see that it is going to work out cheaper. You know, but let's discuss this point here. We're talking about whether doing a modification is going to be cheaper for you or more expensive. Right, right. Uh, the answer is yeah. both yes and no. I think the answer for this lies in what are modifications you want done on your guitar. That's I mean, true. Because that you can completely change the whole guitar or you can just, just make a small change in the electronics. Absolutely. In fact, coming back to a chart, if you see the final figure, uh, there is only about a hundred rupee difference uh, between a stock uh, Squire Stratocaster and the Modcaster. Yeah, so, is it cheaper? Technically, yes. Yeah, that's purely comparative on a functional standpoint. I mean, if, if I look at the cosmetic uh, aspects, you can see that it's it's uh, costing up to about thirteen to fourteen thousand rupees. Even if I include the shipping charges, the maximum shipping that I paid was. Uh, for importing the pickups which are about 900 bucks, otherwise I've not paid anything for shipping. Even if I include that, yes, it does work out cheaper, but then when you're building a guitar, you're customizing it. It is personal to you, you know. So these changes, what we did, maybe you would not want to do it, uh, or maybe you would. I would say, you know, it's it's the same level yeah. of buying uh, a guitar at stock. Only difference is this would be a lot more personal to you. The prices you see over here are the prices uh, of the equipment that went at the time when we had bought it. Uh, all of this is off Amazon. So there will be a fair amount of fluctuation on prices from uh, compared to what you see vis-a-vis -vis, uh, what might be online at the moment because this comes from various sellers. So those things yeah, are And one thing which we would like to highlight is the fact that after we picked up the Fender Tex-Mex pickups, right, we were not able to find the same at this particular prices. That's true. It also comes down to how you're going to plan the overall thing because you know you have to do your homework. Um, there is a component that would be available unbranded at maybe 100 bucks, and the same thing branded could be 500 bucks. It depends on you know where you're going to put your money. And so also, your which homework. is worth it. I mean, like That's if true. it's an electronic component, I would say go ahead and make the changes. Absolutely. But if it's a pure asset point of view, I mean, it choice. doesn't make Personal sense. Choice. It comes up to you. So uh, do your homework. Uh, the shipping charges will vary depend on how you plan. You're shipping, you know, if, if you don't plan it well, you could end up spending more. So watch out for that. So anyway, that's what we have got planned with the Modcaster. What do you think about it? Do you have some thoughts uh, that, you know, you think we should go ahead and try while we're doing this project? Let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you think about this video and give us a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe because we have a lot more content coming through. And as always, stay metal. Okay, Watch TV. Stay metal. Stay metal. <laughs> oh my God! This is much better. What you imagine? <laughs>